Hi, I am Bhavik Thakkar. Welcome to Bititude. If you are more comfortable with Hindi language, please hit the i button and watch the Hindi version of exact same video. But if you are comfortable with English, let's carry on. Well, it's been quite long since we met last time on YouTube because I haven't really uploaded anything for quite some time now. But now I'm much more determined and we have decided to upload one video every day. Fine. And in every video we are going to bring some challenging question like in this video we are going to bring a question from the topic average. So this question we are going to solve and as you know all those questions are going to be solved with Bittitude shortcut and they are going to be the best shortcut ever. You cannot find better shortcut than those which are taught by Bittitude. Fine? Because they are going to be logical shortcuts and the beauty of this particular videos is going to be that we are not only going to solve this particular question because you know when we teach we teach you the logic that means you have to be taught all the concepts that are relevant to this particular questions and that is going to be the methodology that is going to be the pedagogy of Bittitude. That is how you are going to learn each and everything. And this particular question can actually be solved within 30 seconds, you believe it or not. And let's get started. So first of all, I would like you to pause the video, have a look at the question and try to solve it on your own first. It doesn't make any difference whether you are able to solve it or not. But when you try to solve it, you become aware of the aspects of the question. What is actually asked? Fine. What kind of data is given? What you might have something in your mind. Fine. And that is very important because that opens you up. When your mind is open, it would be easier for you to grasp the concepts which will be taught to you later on. So please try to solve this on your own first, pause the video. Fine? Alright, I hope you did well. Now, this question could be solved within 30 seconds. As promised, we will do it. But before that, before that, we have to understand that the same question, math question can be solved in four different manners. One is traditional method that is equation method assume x assume y make equations and solve them something that we already know or we have already been taught during our school time right so this is something which of course is not aptitude which of course is going to take more time but which will make us sound conceptually so we should know that method too right next method is you can go by option as well because here the MCQs, multiple choice questions, you will be given some options. So you should know how to go from options as well. Right? That's what you should know. That okay, I can do it. Whether to do it or not is a different story altogether. So which method to pick up? Obviously, you are going to pick up the best method that is Bittitude method, which is nothing but logical shortcut method. Fine? Because when you have a logic, that lateral thinking you have developed and that will make it the shortest. But to understand this, you should know each and every method because when you know all then you know the best fine when you know all then you can pick up which one i can just use for this particular question fine so have all the weapons in your repertoire and choose the one which is the best to crack that particular question that's going to be the bittitude strategy of course this cramming method i never do i never ask you to memorize any formula so forget about that method the other three methods are the ones we are going to use to solve the questions fine all right starting with the first method that is maybe we'll think let's go by option but in this particular question if you think like for example i can choose any option but for example if i choose 112 if i choose that option that means that are the number of students, initial number of students in the class. If these are the number of students and this is the average, to find the total, you will have to multiply them, which will be like killing our time, right? And later on, if we do all those calculations and it doesn't fit, then we'll have to pick up another option. So it's simply killing our time. So we have to understand, if we are not choosing any method, we have to understand why. 
that is very important you know at altitude like you can think of why not by option because just think about it this multiplied by this game over right you cannot really test it it will be simply killing your time forget about the option method now the next method could be you can use your equation method so as we know now this particular method can also solve the question within a minute fine within a minute you will be able to solve this question using an equation but not the ideal method when you've got some method which can solve it within 20 30 seconds why to waste a minute on it make sense right so here if you understand like in equation what we do whenever whatever is asked what is the initial number of students we say n that's how we usually start because we don't know how much it is or what number it is we say n we take a variable now because the average weight is this we'll say when you multiply this and this you get the total weight of the class so 52.6 into n is nothing but 52.6 n this is the total weight of the class now in this total weight because two students are joining their weights are supposed to be added so 82.6 plus 56.8 so this would become the total weight of the class now but one student is leaving of this weight so because he is leaving his weight is going to be subtracted and this makes the total weight of the new class new newly formed class right now this is the total weight obviously total has to be divided by the number of students now the number of students are obviously they were n but now two students have joined so it has become n plus 2 but one has left minus 1 this is the total number of students now right and this is going to be the new average because new total divided by new students should give you new average and new average as they say it is increased by 0.25 so it has to be 52.6 plus 0.25 52.85 look equations are always easy but they are time consuming easy to form right very easy to form but time consuming fair enough makes sense i'm not going to solve it of course you can solve it and you can find the answer on your own but i'm here to just give you an idea how to do it with equation but if you know bititude you're not going to use this method you can answer this question very easily let's understand that method now okay so we are moving moving on to the bititude shortcut method now what is the bititude shortcut in average it's pretty simple let me give you an idea about it first uh if if you all have got 40 chocolates okay and i'm entering this classroom okay with say for example 50 chocolates what will be the new average so we know all the longer methods and everything but forget about them now let's think of the shortcut if i would have brought 40 chocolates the new average would have been still 40 you have 40 i have 40 the average is still going to be 40 so anything in excess if i bring fine if i brought 10 that has to be divided among us so if there are 10 of us right we should all take one chocolate out of those additional 10 chocolates so if i'm bringing 50 i'm also keeping 40 as you people had 40 with you but the additional 10 is distributed among all of us including me fine so new average will be obviously 41 makes sense if you are 9 and i am 1 that is 10 right makes sense fine so here also if you understand two students are coming but one is leaving doesn't that mean that one student is coming one student is plus that means he is joining okay one student is joining and what would be his weight obviously this plus this minus this now look here also the shortcuts are in many forms even in calculation if you do this plus this would take some time minus this would take some time but if you are good enough to spot out that this minus this would be minus 2 and this minus 2 would be 80.6 you would say it would be 80.6 are you getting it rather than adding this to and then subtracting this later on i can understand let me subtract this now because they are both both 0.8 so it's very easy and both close very near so minus 2 and 80.6 so within a second you know rather than you already saved your 10 seconds by not doing this plus this minus this because then you might need a pen some of you might even need a pen right but here Minus two, eighty point six. That's it, right? This minus two is minus two, and this minus two is eighty point six. So doesn't this mean this whole data together that that one student is joining with eighty point six kg? 
make sense right one student is joining with 80.6 kg now when this one student is joining for 80.6 kg using the beatitude method you you can actually understand that if he would have been this weight then the average would have remained the same but because he is 28 kg more find this 28 kg would have been distributed among all of the students fine so 28 kg is distributed among all of them and everybody has got 0 0.25 right or you can say one fourth right so n is nothing but 28 into 4 1 1 2 but that's the thing that's the thing the beatitude logical method is actually a two-sided sword right because it's logical method you have to practice it better if you answer 1 1 2 here it is going to be a wrong answer why that's the thing while you are doing logical methods you have to practice them before you actually use them right if Sachin Tendulkar is playing a shot in the match he might have practiced it before in the on the nets for maybe minimum 500 times right because then he knows that this is how it will come out and then only he will use it otherwise it's going to be dangerous he can get out getting this so that's the thing you have to practice it if you practice it then you will know that these are the number of students including that new student right because what i said in the previous example also that extra 10 chocolates were divided among all 10 of us nine students plus me makes sense so here also this additional 28 because he also kept the old average 52.6 whatever the additional was 28 would have been divided among all of them including that one new student that we are considering fine so this n is 112 but we are supposed to find out the initial number of students so minus 1 will give the answer as 111 right makes sense so the final answer is actually 111 so now let's understand if you really know the beatitude shortcut how much time you will take okay I explained it everything now in the real examination let's have an idea in the real examination how exactly you will be able to do it fine okay you'll simply understand okay some students this is the average these and these joined and this one left that means one joined with minus 2 80.6 kg okay one joined with 80.6 kg now average has become this okay so instead of this his weight is this 28 more 28 and only one fourth is the gain so 28 into 4 1 1 2 students should be there but initial number of students minus 1 1 1 1 that's it next this is how if you really practice with beatitude method you can answer the question something like this so i hope you enjoyed this fine so that was the last question here fine actually we are solving every day one question now so this was the question but at the same time you are supposed to solve this particular question as a homework so please take a snapshot or whatever but just solve this question this is very important and put the answer in comment and i don't want only the answer if you know the beatitude method put all the method as well maybe just one liner just explain it like what was the process that you actually followed fine so please put this comment fine in the comment box how actually you can solve this particular question with the beatitude method and i hope you would be able to do it fine so i hope you enjoyed this particular video and we are going to come up with many more like this fine what you can do is actually you can also submit your own question if you have found some question which is really challenging ask us we'll come up with the best method to solve that particular question fine and the method is going to be logical you don't have to cram anything or i would say you know no rat ratification just answer the question with your mind and that is all matters in the real exam if you know the logic you can answer them in seconds fine so i hope you enjoyed it if you want to submit the question apart from this youtube book to our whatsapp group or telegram channel i am giving all the description in the video details fine all right then keep watching keep learning keep enjoying